Um, I wanted to show you a piece I'm a little bit proud of. Um, this is a Nautilus shell made in stainless steel, fabricated in stainless. And it's larger than life size, and I've taken some liberties with it, but um, it's a form that I'm quite in love with. Uh, the natural environment is my best inspiration. Uh, my name is Stephen Fitzgerald, by the way. I'm a metal sculptor north of San Francisco. And um, I wanted to uh, put this on a base that would, uh, of course, complement the piece. And uh, I was walking around the house with this thing in my hand, and I came across this candelabra that I'd made when the Titanic was found. I made a pair of these that was um, sort of a dedication to the event of finding the Titanic, and they looked as if they were all encrusted. I used um, copper sulfate and burned it in, and I, I wanted to make a couple of pieces that looked as if they were found on the wreck and brought up. But when I, was, when I finished this uh, Nautilus recently, I, I was walking around the house and I just on a whim laid it in here and it was just perfect. So um, I, that is the definitive base for this. And in studying uh, sacred geometry, you know, we always, you, any, just about any book you find on sacred geometry, they put the Nautilus shell on the cover and it's supposedly a representation of the golden spiral or the Fibonacci spiral. But indeed, in fact, it is not anywhere near the golden spiral or the Fibonacci spiral. And I know this because I tried to make one using the Fibonacci spiral and this whole section was huge out here and a very small section back here. And I finally kind of threw up my hands and I got online and I just <laughs> did a query and said, how come the Nautilus shell does not resemble the golden rectangle or the golden spiral? And suddenly there was a plethora of, uh, of mathematicians that were explaining that it's total bullshit and it's been pushed by people that simply don't know any better and they're not doing the research. It's, it's more based, this spiral is more based on an algorithm of three than anywhere near the golden section. Anyway, this is just an aside, but this is what you do when you do the research. Um, my old man used to really hammer on me about doing the research, especially when I do a career. You know, because you want to, you know, you're not making a model of the piece. If you're an artist, you're interpreting it. But you want to be able to bring the characteristics of the animal. So, anyway, this is done in stainless steel, 8 inch. Uh, a lot of cold forming with different dyes with a press. And then a lot of welding. There's about 8 pieces in this whole thing. I've used a plasma cutter to cut the parts. And um, it's just, I find it a really luscious form.